will keep the relationship, will nurture it, because more than ever before, we are facing real food security challenges, and <clears throat> we have to think outside the box. We have to look for ingenious solutions that can help us to cross the Rubicon. And I believe with your support, the political will is there now more than ever before. So that together we can save humanity and sub the human race. In Nigeria, we have research institutes that are devoted to millet and sorghum. You can partner with them. The Lechard Research Institute in, in Borno State has that mandate to dwell on millet and sorghum. Mm -hmm. And they are doing excellently well. They have come up with some breeds of sorghum and millet that the yield has literally multiplied. Obviously, we need to put more resources into breeding of crops like maize and others, and we have uh, one of the CGIR centers headquartered in Nigeria, IITA, uh, which is a fantastic international center. But we also need to be looking at um, indigenous African crops that have long suffered from massive underinvestment. Um, the African Union has a common position on food systems, and it talks about the massive underinvestment in these crops. So these are crops like sorghum and millet and fonio, um, but also uh, vegetables and fruits, which have a huge amount of potential, which hasn't been realized. And in summary, what we're trying to do in working with African countries is two things. One is to help African countries at the national level, governments, down to the farm level, manage the soil more properly to ensure sustainability and productivity. So to do much more sophisticated soil mapping and analytics and modeling to give you the kind of information you would need to um, make better decisions about land use, where to plant, what kind of infrastructure would be needed in certain areas based on the, what the soil can give you or can't, um, and including climate variables. We're, that's on the soil side. Um, we, uh, there are now um, uh, programs that you can get on your cell phone as a small farmer of even one hectare or two hectares that um, would be able to take this information about uh, soils and climate and give you even recommendations that would help improve productivity. On the crop side, um, we are extremely concerned about climate change and its effects in, in Africa.